Hello everybody, so Shazia is here, I'm out here in my mad science laboratory. I had to just share this with you right here. Uh, I'm working on another project. This isn't exactly the, the one that uh, I'm, I was wanting to do, but in the process of uh, testing this Bueller motor, I shocked the living crap out of myself. And I'm like, you know, that's, uh, <laughs> that's a whole hell of a lot more than uh, 12 volts of electricity. So just out of curiosity, I hooked up uh, this 150 watt uh, light bulb right here. I had to uh, unhook that because uh, this is a little uh, 14 volt uh, electric motor out of a cordless drill. And I've got a really cool project that I'm working on with this. But uh, this particular motor is obviously not going to work because uh, I've got to do something different. Anyway, I wanted to show you this. I got my uh, battery charger hooked up to this because this uh, battery only holds about 7 volts and so it won't run the, uh, run the thing. But watch what happens when I put this, uh, this uh, system right here on the uh, battery charger. Now that's a 150 watt light bulb running off of this Bueller motor right here. Now to me, I think that's pretty doggone impressive. I got some other things that I'm wanting to do with this thing. But uh, for the meantime, I just had to uh, make a quick little video and share that with you because uh, these things are a little bit more impressive than I thought they were. Um, that's what, Like I said, that's a 150 watt light bulb and it uh, you've seen it uh let me wire this back in over here you can tell ain't no tricks to it it's just 12 volts and this is just my uh my battery charger over here which after after a while if you run it long enough uh this motor here or something draws too many amps and then uh and then it kicks the uh, charger off I'll watch that again I'll leave it running here for a second, see for how long it takes to kick off. Well, it ain't kicked off yet, but, uh, well, George, I had to share that with you. That's pretty doggone cool, man. This little Bueller motor is not even hot. Now this one is. This little one that I was uh, pulling it with, and that's probably why I kept kicking the breaker, because I was pulling it with this little motor, and this motor gets hot and wants to lock up. But, man, uh, you need to get a hold of some of these if you can. They're uh, they're in Epson, Epson printers. Uh, the big old... Uh, probably about 10 or 12 year old printers but uh, you seen right there it lit up that that doggone uh, 150 watt bulb and as I was uh, working with this I was wondering why I burned out some of the uh, little LEDs because it should have only been 12 volts I think I might have that thing burn out already again too <laughs> Well, you can see some of the LEDs are gone in it. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. That was in the process of me doing an experiment. I got a really cool thing that I'm going to show you when I get the, the right motor going on here. But uh, it's going to be fascinating. Anyway, peace and love, everybody. Take care. Stay tuned. Yeah, it's me again. I'm going to do one short little addendum here. Because I know somebody's going to ask me the question. <laughs> so I'm going to hook my voltmeter up to this doggone thing. And uh, I'm going to put it on AC current. Just to see if that's what uh, what's coming out of this thing. And I'm going to hook it in right here and here. see what I get now I'm gonna try like hell not to shock the crap out of myself but I normally uh, 
I normally end up getting myself. Okay, let's try this again. Where's my deal there? Do 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 do. There you are. <laughs> I got wires and junk laying everywhere. showing right now when I got that light on fluctuating back back and forth there. I'm going to flip this over to high voltage DC and see what I got. Look at that. I hope you can read that. Ah, motor got hot again. <laughs> but anyway, I think you get the point. Um, it's putting out some pretty, pretty good voltage for uh, that little gizmo right there. Huh, I'm impressed. Smell something smoking. I think I fried that little buddy out. Wait till that uh, doggone thing kicks back on there again. Take a minute and I'll see if it, uh, see if that light will come back on. Well, I'm still waiting. <laughs> but uh, like I said, now I'm running some experiments and I got the uh, living crap shocked out of myself and I said that's a whole hell of a lot more than uh, 12, 13 volts DC. And uh, well it came back on. Let's see if this thing will fire back up now. Yay! Huh. Alrighty then. Well, um, I didn't get a very accurate reading on the doggone voltmeter there, but uh, it on the AC side it was fluctuating anywhere from 50, 60 to 105 volts, and on the DC side uh, it went anywhere from a couple hundred volts to 500 volts DC. Don't understand all that, but <laughs> all I can say, man, uh, that speaks for itself. All right. Anyway, that's a that's a Bueller motor out of a out of a doggone Epson printer, and that's a little 14 volt uh, cordless drill motor and a crappy little sealed lead acid battery that uh, won't go over seven volts. That's why I had to use a doggone battery charger. But man, pretty cool. All right. Peace and love, everybody. Take care.